Hi guys, I hope you're all really well. This feels super weird to be filming sat on my bed, literally like it's the worst place to film. Cramped in the corner of my bed in my flat in Watford. Um, but I did a little Zara haul. Well, it was like across two hauls. And I just really want to show you what I got. I think I have like 10 pieces in total, so... It's actually not that little. It's bigger than the last haul I did, and it's been ages since I did like a proper sit down video. I think it's basically been a year. I did it like last summer, so I guess eight months. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. So like I did in my last haul video, I'm basically just gonna talk you through what I got, how much it was, and then I'll add in a little try on clips so that you can just see what it looks like on. A lot of the pieces that I've got, I did actually get in the sale, and I think it was maybe three weeks ago that I got them, so they might not be available. If I can find them online, I'll add them in the description box down below. Um, if I can't, I'll try and find similar items. But it's actually quite like a summery vibe going on. I guess so I were trying to get rid of lots of that summer stock, which worked out perfectly because I have two holidays booked that hopefully are gonna be really warm, um, or at least warmer than it currently is with all of the storms. Uh, I'm going to Rome at the end of March and I'm also going to split in Croatia at the end of April. So I need lots of summery clothes and yeah. I did already return a few items. I was planning to keep them for the sake of the video and just like film them, try them on because they were okay. But actually I was a bit panicky that my return window was going to run out and I really needed the money back. So <laughs> Woo. these are all the pieces. I'm keeping them. Let's get started. So the first thing that I picked up was actually something that I've seen loads of people rave about on Instagram and even people that I've seen in person have talked about this bodysuit as being like the bodysuit that you should buy and oh my god, I'm really annoyed that I didn't listen before. It is amazing. It's just the basic Zara bodysuit. Um, I've already been wearing this one loads. It's covered in foundation already, which I guess is the one issue with it being white. But it's this really like super soft material, almost like, I wanna say like wetsuit style material, but thinner. It's really stretchy, um, super comfy. I love the fit of it, so you don't really need to wear a bra with it. It's just super flattering and literally goes with everything. It's like the perfect basic for underneath blazers, goes with jeans, skirts. I wore it underneath a cardigan when I just wanted to have like a bit of a basic underneath layer going on. So yeah, I love this so much. It's 12 99 this wasn't in the sale. And I also picked it up in black. I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of these. It's basically perfect for all seasons. I've been wearing it already in winter, just with more layers, and it would be perfect just with like a pair of denim shorts in summer, which I do actually have some denim shorts in here that I picked up in the sale. So I'm really looking forward to styling those together. And it's just a super simple, but actually really sleek and comfy. And it has like capsule wardrobe vibes. It's never gonna go out of style, really affordable basics, and I'm probably gonna pick up more. If they have any other colors, I definitely want at least one in every color. So I have all of the range. Next up, I have something that technically doesn't really fit me because it doesn't fasten across my boobs. However, I thought it was so cute that I couldn't leave it behind, and I'm just gonna wear it open with like a little bralette underneath. And it's this super cute little cropped, almost like beige and sheer, beautiful floral top. It's cropped in length, so it sort of sits just around the waist. It has these little layers, and it basically just fastens like this. If I can find a bralette that sort of flattens me down, maybe I can wear it. But if not, then I'm just gonna wear it open. It's like a little cardigan jacket vibe. I think this would be so nice through summer, just as a layering piece, or if you can get away with wearing it to the top, even better. This was 5 99 It didn't have a label, and I took it to the till for the whole. Can you tell me how much this is? Because uh, I didn't want to commit to it if it was full price just because it didn't fit me, but it was in the sale, so. Super cute, really looking forward to wearing this when it gets warmer. Next up is a pair of white shorts, and they're almost like this sort of tailored vibe with a really nice big bow, just really easy to wear. I wanna say like linen, linen-y, 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 linen-y. Um, I had to get these in a large because they didn't have a medium, which is the size I'd normally go for. So they're a little bit big, but I can basically just tie it tighter and they'll be fine. Um, they should have been 19 99 but they were 5 99 in the sale, which was obviously amazing. I'm going to look at the materials and see if it says. I don't know if linen is like its own thing or if linen is just cotton. I'm not educated enough. 
but basically they're really lightweight is how I would describe them kind of a little bit see-through so I'll probably just take them on holiday and wear them when I'm abroad that kind of thing because I feel like there's different boundaries to clothes when you're abroad I'm not sure if anyone else feels like that or if that's just me but I definitely wear things that I wouldn't wear when I'm at home when I'm on holiday I'm pretty sure that's not just me so yeah really cute lightweight white shorts um bargain continuing on the shorts theme I actually have like four pairs of shorts here which for a winter haul is controversial however I picked up these like tweed style shorts also for 5 99 and they have like major Chanel style vibes they have the little frayed edge at the bottom and they're this really nice white and black black navy black I think I also had to get these oh no I got these in a medium and they were originally 25 99 and I got them for 5 99 so super happy with these I think these will look really cute with the the black or the white bodysuit to be honest um maybe with some like gold jewelry it would be so cool if I could find like a matching blazer in exactly the same print um just for like the proper Chanel suit vibe but yeah super happy with those two so I'm probably most excited about this bargain wise um I looked at these shorts when I was in Zurich last year and tried them on really liked them didn't end up buying them for whatever reason but I got them in the sale for 5 99 and they're these mom style shorts um so they've got like the quite baggy legs which I really like I hate denim shorts that sit super tight around your thighs I just don't find it flattering on me I'm kind of conscious of my thighs so I don't really want like them being sucked in by shorts so these are a really nice fit I got these in a size 12 and I just think that they're really flattering and they're super high-waisted really nice pair of denim shorts they should be 19.99 got them for 5.99 and I think I'm gonna get so much wear out of these in summer just everyone needs a pair of denim shorts and I actually don't think I've owned denim shorts since I was a kid because I was conscious of my legs in shorts but this is a year of self-love and I'm gonna start wearing shorts now because I don't want the chub rub of wearing a skirt in summer to be honest okay final pair of shorts but it's kind of cheating because it's actually a skirt. again don't think I've had a skirt since I was like a child have I even ever owned a skirt? but it is this oh my god my head it is this leather skirt with this frill across the front um it's obviously not real leather i've worn this so many times that i've already taken the label out um but i'm pretty sure this was 5.99 as well had to get these in a large um so again they're like a little bit big but it just means that they're really comfy around the waist and around the legs and i just think that these are really nice even now with a pair of tights and knee high boots um i just think that they're like an alternative to the leather legging vibe going for the leather shorts instead and it looks like you're in a skirt which i do prefer because i like being in skirts not shorts so double win okay three things left i feel like this is gonna look really horrible to try and hold up and show you but i will try it is that yeah this is not gonna flatter it at all it's this really lovely like khaki dress and i can't describe the material i don't know what it is but it's quite thick like it sits really nicely it feels quite expensive um it's quite like heavy weight so it just has a really nice shape i had to get this in a large as well oh no an extra large so the only one that they had online left was an extra large and i thought i'd try it because it's basically just like shift dress style so it's really loose fitting and actually it doesn't matter too much what size it is and i think i can get away with extra large i wore it the other day to work and i just put a belt around the middle so that's probably how i'll style it just so it doesn't look too baggy on me but I just love this and this was also 5 99 and it just feels a lot more expensive than it actually was because of the material so I don't even think that that's really that summery because it's quite thick so I'd say it's like the perfect perfect transitional dress okay when I said that there was like two more pieces left it's kind of cheating because it's actually a co-ord and it's my favorite thing that I own have ever owned in my wardrobe I've worn it so many times already I'm literally obsessed with this it is this these are the trousers and they're super long a really wide leg so comfy like i can't describe how soft this is when i touched it it like it's almost like cashmere vibes which it obviously isn't because it was such good value this wasn't in the sale um the trousers were i want to say 19.99 and the top to go with it was like 15.99 maybe 17 but if i can roll this 
it's this roll neck, no sleeve, little top, which is actually quite long. It's really creased because I've just got it out of my wash basket because I've literally worn it so many times. However, I did notice that you can't machine wash it, so I'm not entirely sure how convenient that's going to be going forward. But I'm still going to wear it all the time. So I just really like how flattering it is to have the high neck and no sleeves. I think it looks so bougie. Literally, like with my hair scraped back into this little low bun and this suit lounging around because it's like the perfect loungewear. It's so soft, so comfy. Oh my god. If they have it in more colours, I kind of want it. But also, this is the perfect colour. It's like this really nice, like, oatmeal-y kind of... Ooh, oatmeal-y. Like, kind of beige, neutral oatmeal vibe. And I just think it is stunning. Don't feel like you only have to wear it as loungewear. I wore it with a trench coat and oh my god I love it so much it's literally my favorite thing I'll probably be wearing it all the time on my Instagram and at weekends and in the evenings I probably should have got a second one I think I need to so that's everything in my little Zara haul I love doing hauls and granted like I got these over a couple of orders because I'm not in a financial position to go out and buy 10 items in one go especially when they're not all in the sale but I definitely picked up some bargains. If the Zara sales are, which I'm not entirely sure, it's definitely worth going in store and having a look. It was a huge selection when I went in and there's so many pieces that I feel like in a couple of months will be perfect. So even if they're a bit summery now, if you have any holidays coming up or forward by, stock up ready for the sunshine because it will be here. Even though it doesn't feel like it right now, the sun will return. I hope that you enjoyed my little video and if you want to follow me over on instagram then i will leave my name on the screen it's becky maria flt just the same as my youtube and if you enjoyed this then let me know down in the comments and i hope to see you again bye